Hello YouTube, it's July 27th of 21. It's a nice warm, humid day. Out here working, I'm showing you the cornfield. There's about 100 acres of corn here. It just started tasseling. Looks really good. We had a couple inches of rain two days ago. Prior to that, we had an inch in seven weeks. Um, we'll, see, we'll see how it turns out. I did a pretty good job on the weeds, but that's not what we're working on today. And actually, you might be able to see, I don't know if my finger will show it. That little brown patch over there is a test plot of spring wheat. And that's going to be next to be harvested. In order to do that, I think I'm going to use my bean head rather than swath it because my weed pressure isn't very high. So to that end, we got the bean head out. And Dad is over here changing some uh, cutter knives, which are these knives here that go back and forth on the sickle bar. And they're trapped by these guards. And occasionally they break off and uh, need to be replaced. So that's what uh, El Tio is working on today. He's replacing all those bolts. Here's some parts. $270 worth of odd parts from John Deere. But the big project, this is the bean header cart that you pull in with the combine and it nestles in here so you can pull it down the highway because being 27 odd feet wide, you can't go down the highway. The issue was there are supports, majority, big part of the weight's resting on this and on this. And the supports on this side are intact. There's a weld right here and there's a plate here that's welded to this tube, hollow tube, four by six. They somehow, for some reason, had cracked off on this other side and this black triangular support here had shifted over about an inch, inch and a half. Um, so obviously that was a little bit of an issue. We wanted, uh, that would just slide off. It was structural. So what I ended up doing, I had to shove this bracket an inch and a half over relative, or an inch and a quarter over relative to this tube. And what you see here is my version of a hydraulic uh, power pack. Initially I thought I was going to do something else, so I welded this piece of tube, it's hollow, on here. But then I use this as a block to press against. I just clamped this piece of solid bar stock. This tube ended up tack welding that little tube there. And then I made wedges uh, out of plate. I just cut them out of plate. And I drove that wedge in between that piece of welded tube. And this is a small piece of I-beam that's clamped to that. So that the load from this wedge is hopefully spread out enough over this this support bracket where it won't just put a, a, a bend and a kink in the middle of it. Um, oh, here's the other wedge. So essentially it was a wide piece of bar stock and I just cut it with the torch and then ground it down. Hopefully it'll become useful in other, other uh, things. So the weld, let's see if I can show. I'm not the greatest welder in the world, it's still a little warm. That's the first pass. It's 6011, which is good on rusty and crappy. I tried to clean it up as good as I could. But really what I was doing is welding this plate to the piece of plate that goes underneath the tube. So I'm stitching that together, and then next I'll put two passes over the top of that. What I'm thinking I end up doing is building some little gussets that go from this bottom plate up to the side of the tube, just to reinforce this a little bit better. In the meantime, until I can get uh, it all welded up and the brackets in place, we're going to leave this whole contraption here. But, and the tractor was just here just in case this tube slipped. It was pretty heavy. I don't know what it weighs, 500 pounds. And just as a safety measure. So we could take that off now. I'll get back to welding with my uh, cheap Chinese stick welder, which has worked really well for me for five years. Um, and there's Grandpa, supervisor. Hey Papa, hey Papa. Quality control. Quality control, keeping an eye on things. So I really appreciate the help. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll have some videos for you as things progress. Bye for now.